You're telling me a Beetlejuice to this? Well, you said that already. Oh. Well, I mean, I, I didn't think we were starting yet. Okay. Should we start now? Yes. Okay. You should introduce the thing. It's your channel. I'm I'm just making you put it there. Hello. Uh, we watched Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> isn't this isn't this Matt and Mitzi's mega movie musical <laughs> motion mixture modern hour? <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 pretty close to the title. That's the title because we didn't just watch Beetlejuice. We are going yeah. to in the future. Us is watching Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Right. Yeah. I mean, I suppose this is Matt and Mitzi's modern movie madness. Although this is not a modern film. This is a film from 1986. Okay, but we're doing. <laughs> this is important. This is important to the se second half of this video. I I get, I get it. We're talking about Beetlejuice because we're going to go see the sequel. Yay! So what do you think of Beetlejuice? <laughs> I think a lot um, of things... <laughs> this is off to a terrible start. I just, I don't know how to start up, like, that's a broad question. Like, I think a lot of things about Beetlejuice. Um... God damn it. You're my least favorite son. Um Sneedle juice. Um He's gonna fall over again. He's gonna... Huh. Bet you get him to stay up there. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> but it's it was a miracle and now the miracle is ruined. The miracle is gone. Um Talk to me about the movie Beetlejuice. <laughs> Why do you always have to? It's a broad question, okay? I think a lot of things about Beetlejuice. Um, I think the effects fucking rule. Um, I think uh the characters are great and the actors do everything great, everything good that they can do about portraying said characters. Um, I I'm moving this chair because it keeps squeaking. Um, I, I don't know, I have a deep past with Beetlejuice. I have a, I, I have like a, a deep connection to this film, which is why I'm, I am terrified of this sequel. <laughs> this sequel absolute, this sequel terrifies me in a way I cannot, comp like, I'm both excited and scared for this. Um... One of these days, we're gonna have to do one of these on a property you're obsessed with, because so far it's been Barbie and this. Yeah, we we <laughs> we meant to do one on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then it just never happened. And then it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen. Why didn't we do that? Do we just suck? Is that it? I think we got sick. Did we? Was that one of the times we got I, sick? I think we got sick like right after we watched that movie. Oh, so we were cursed. Okay, well. So, my my deep roots with Beetlejuice goes back. the I, The only way I can explain it, and I explained it to Matt in the car the other day, um, was, uh, Beetlejuice is my "It's a Wonderful Life." Uh, this this uh movie stood between me and suicide for a long time. Um, and it's like. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird thing to explain because it's like, yeah, obviously that's a theme of a move of the movie, idiot. But also, like, I don't think a lot of people care that much about that being a theme of the movie. I think a lot of people are there for um, Sneedlejuice's ridiculous antics and all the things that he does. Um, and I think people are there because, like. The effects are great and the acting are great. And like I said, like, I don't think a lot of people are there for the message. Um, but it has a great message. Um, like, I, I, I love the line, like, um, is, is death the answer and not the solution? And, and the line, um, and dying doesn't make things any easier. Being dead doesn't make things any easier. Like, I think those, like, 
I think those like themes of this idea that like even if like even if you are struggling in life dying and like killing yourself won't make it any better like I think that that stuck with me for a really long time um and and still does to this day I still I still think about it like to this day obviously um like I I don't think people are here for the message of Beetlejuice often I don't hear people talk about the message of the movie often and to be fair, yeah, there is a lot of great things about this movie that aren't just that, but that is what stuck with me for so long. Um, but that wasn't, like, the first time I watched it. The first time I watched this movie, I was, like, a little, little kid. Like, I didn't understand most of the stuff that was going on in this movie. I I, I don't think I was in the double digits yet of age. I couldn't have been mm. older than, like, eight or nine. Like, I love this movie. Like... I I think what appealed to me as a kid was what appeals to a lot of people, which is just like Beetlejuice is kind of like a cartoon character. He's just yeah. he's kind of a fucking Looney Tune. That's also like the worst person you could ever meet. <laughs> this is my horrendous old man, and I love him. Um, <laughs> I, he is. I I wonder how they're gonna handle this character in like a, a modern movie because he is such a sex pest. Oh yeah, no, he's a pervert. <laughs> he's a horrible, horrible person. I mean, part of me is like I. Part of me, the the reason I have hope for this sequel is because the musical went over so well. Now they change a lot of things in the musical and I don't actually mind that they change a lot of things. The one thing that really bothers me about the change is they get rid of Juno and that makes me upset. Juno's one of my favorite characters. Um and like yeah, I I that gives me hope for it because I think the way they handle like Beetlejuice's character and everything in that movie is done really well. And I love how they, like I talk about the message of the movie, I, I like how they expand upon those themes and motifs and stuff like that. Um, I could talk forever about the musical, but I'm not going to, because uh, we're talking about the movie. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, I, th I think, I think they could do it if they... They knew if they know what they're doing. Like that's the thing that scares me about it is a lot of sequels and a lot of remakes of movies that came out a long time ago tend to miss the mark. They don't really have the same vibe, and that's that's what scares me. You know. Um, also, Tim Burton hasn't made a good movie since like before two thousand one. <laughs> <laughs> like he before that he was one of the greatest filmmakers of all time i love all tim burton's old stuff but then then planet of the apes came out and it was just like he never recovered he never recovered from planet of the apes um which i haven't seen i don't think i've seen tim burton's planet of the apes it's like the <laughs> only bad planet of the apes movie oh <laughs> well I don't know. I haven't seen all of like the old old sequels, but I, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, I think is one of the greatest sequels of all time. Un super underrated. I love Beneath Planet of the Apes, but we're not talking about that. We're here to talk about Beetlejuice, um, which is just like a visually brilliant movie. Yeah, no, all the effects I, I, in here. I, I, will... I love the way this movie looks. Um, it's funny. It's it's a breezy little picture. Um, Back then, movies didn't have to be two hours. I do th it's like sometimes I feel like it jumps too quick from one thing to the next. Like they'll they'll be like getting Beetlejuice's help, and then they're like, "Oh no, we can't, we can't like get Beetlejuice's help," and then just immediately they have a new plan for how to scare the family. Yeah. Yeah. But, it is, is pretty fast paced. Yeah. I, I, like, borders on being rushed. I don't know if I would call it rushed, but borders on being rushed in some places. Mm -hmm. But uh, other, otherwise a pretty great picture. Yeah. I, I can't think of really much negative to say about it at all. Yeah. I mean, 
I love it. I, I want to talk about the man, Beetlejuice the man, because I was talking about him earlier. And He's like, a ghost. <laughs> He's a man ghost. He's a ghost man. He's a male ghost. He's ghost... He's he, the he's the ghost with the most, babe. Um, <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about him. You got him in like a strangle. <laughs> you like the whole time you've been sitting here like squeezing. Him. <laughs> this is how I feel about him. This is how I feel about him. I just want to squeeze his small form. Looks like he's biting your finger. <laughs> He would. He would. <laughs> um, I want to talk about this feral ghost. Because um, one of the things about the movie that I, I also don't think is, is taken to notice a lot is that, um, like, Beetlejuice used to be Juno's assistant, and it's just mentioned once. But also that another thing that's mentioned in the movie is that, you know, when people kill themselves, they become civil servants. And, like, thinking about that, it's just like, oh yeah, Beetlejuice killed himself. Beetlejuice died some horrendous suicidal death, and then spent millennia I I dead, and he, he hated it. And I think that is, like, I think that is, like, one of the most beautiful cores of the movie told through this, like, disgusting creature, is that, like... Yeah, he's disgusting, he's horrible, he's horrendous, but he, like, he's miserable, is the thing. Like, the core of the movie is that, and, and Beetlejuice says it himself, and he's being a scumbag when he says it, is that he says that he thinks Lydia understands him. And I'm like, it's, it's so much more, like, I'm not terrible, but it's just, it, it puts me in a weird place because, like, he's not wrong. Like... She is just as miserable in life as he is in death, and vice versa. He is he is miserable in death. He does not want to be dead anymore. And I think that just hammers home the message of, like, death is not the solution. It doesn't make anything easier. Um, it's not gonna do anything for you. Um, and, like, I think there is, like, a tragedy, like hooked into this you know like this this horrendous creature like this 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 man this this ghost man like he's evil he's horrible but he has like a little bit of tragedy to him he, he is he is genuinely miserable <laughs> and i think that's another reason like the movie speaks to me in a way <laughs> Did you just think about something you've never thought about before? Or are you just deep in thought now? Or you just have nothing to say? I like the part where the shrimp hands grab their faces. <laughs> yes. I like that too. There's a lot of good music in this movie. Just like the type of music that Adam likes to listen to. All that. Yeah, a lot of Harry Belafonte. Yeah. I really like that, and I really like how they incorporate that. That that also is, like, incorporated into the musical really well. Um, no, I, I love it. I love these characters. Um, I think it's just fun and funny as well. Um, what about, what about, do you have more thoughts? And or feelings? Um... I don't know. I, I I really like this movie. I think it's like one of Burton's best. Not 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 my favorite of his cuz he's got a lot of good stuff, but like I this is up there for him in in his filmography. Um Michael Keaton is hilarious. He is. Like, he's so good. <laughs> yeah, no, I, it's 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 weird that he like played Batman and then like I guess not not totally dropped off the face of the planet, but like I mostly did like drama after Batman. Like he he hasn't really gone back to his comedy roots because hmm. you know before this he he did a lot of comedy. He did uh you know like a uh, uh, 
Mr. Scout Mom. What was that movie called? I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Um, there's the one where he's, he's got, like, clones. I have a VHS somewhere of, like, one of his movies. It's called The Squeeze. And it's very funny because on the cover he's squeezing the Twin Towers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ooh, this Tim Burton did nine eleven. <laughs> no, uh, uh, Michael Keaton. Oh, Michael Keaton. Michael did Keaton did nine eleven. Okay. <laughs> it's like one of those posters that just like has not aged well. I don't know why I was thinking of that being a Tim Burton movie, and that's what you were talking about. My brain was mixed up. <laughs> um. I mean, I, I like I like all the other actors in this too. At least their performances. Um, some of them are not very good people, but yeah. I like their performances in the film, at least. You know, it's it, that's that's just an unfortunate side effect of watching any movie. <laughs> any movie from, like, more than 20 years ago. And yeah. it's like, ooh, oh, uh, yeah, we, we, we don't use that actor anymore. What are you gonna do? Well, no, the writer's still solid, though. I love her. Everything she's in. She can do no wrong. Well, she's been in some bad movies, but... But she can do no wrong. Sure. She can be in a bad movie and still be good at being in the bad movie, is sure. what I'm saying. Um, it's, it's weird that, like... Tim Burton just, like, put her in the movie at, what, like, age 14, and then he's like, okay, I'm gonna put you in a, like, all my movies now. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's great. Can you blame him? <laughs> she does good in this movie. Um, I like that the climax is, is about Beetlejuice trying to marry a 14-year-old. Yeah, no. And then and then they made a cartoon where they were just best friends. They're hashtag besties. <laughs> I, I that referred... movie, the, the show is so disconnected <laughs> so from different. the movie. It's so different. Like, it, Adam and Barbara aren't even there. No, it's it's just like, <coughs> here's my wacky ghost friend, uh, Beetlejuice. Which is like, <laughs> when you think about it, in an idealistic world, that's just what you want him to be. Not 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 the horrible yeah, no, piece I mean, of that's, shit he is. That's, that's how you make him, like, approachable for children, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> here's my wacky ghost, pal. Um... I, I am wearing a Beetlejuice, a cartoon Beetlejuice cartoon. shirt. I I love the cartoon. I have the full series on DVD. Did um, I get you? I know I was there when you picked it up. Did I, I buy it for you? Or I'm not you... sure. I know okay. you. I know you were with me also when I bought all of Quantum Leap, which is also <laughs> another show that I love and obsessed with. They make a Quantum Leap movie. We can talk about it. <laughs> We can talk about quantum. They they suddenly like here we go in twenty twenty five. There's gonna be a quantum leap I, movie. Did, don't dodgeball me. Don't dodgeball me. <laughs> I the the show kind of ends. It, it was going to end on like even a more of a cliffhanger, but it just kind of ends with like oh, and he never made it home. Mm -hmm. So they they could, they could use a a quantum leap follow up film. Yeah. <laughs> it just has to be good. It just has to be good. <laughs> Make me a good Quantum Leap movie. Like, I feel like Spongebob being like, let me be struck by a flying ice cream truck and live. I'm like, let there be a Quantum Leap movie and have it be good. <laughs> um, um, were you going to say something or was I going to say something? Were we going to say something? I like that Beetlejuice says fuck. In a PG in movie, a PG, yeah, it's one of the few PG like for, it's one of the few PG movies from after PG thirteen was introduced it's, to feature the fuck word. <laughs> it's funny because along with spaceballs, um, at my work, I work with primarily children, and we are only allowed to watch PG movies with the children, um, and I like we have like free streaming services because we have like a smart TV. And some and Beetlejuice was on one of them for a time, either like Tubi or Freebie or whatever, and they put it on. And right when Beetlejuice, like right when Beetlejuice comes on screen and he starts acting the way he does, and he also says "fuck" in the movie, there I was like, 
Are you sure we should be letting them watch this? Like, <laughs> am I sure I should have been? My parents let me watch this. <laughs> You know, 80s PG is very different. I mean, 80s PG is very different from, like, 90s, 2000s PG, which itself is very different from 2010s to modern PG. Yeah. Like, now now the rating doesn't mean anything. Now it's, like, basically G. For mm -hmm. a time there, it was kind of like, oh, it's a kid's movie, but it's an edgier kid's movie, like Shrek mm -hmm. or The Incredibles. They're a little... A little rougher, a little less appropriate for, like, the little ones. But it's still a kid's movie. Right. Beetlejuice, I don't think, is a kid's movie Yeah, no, at absolutely all. not. Absolutely <laughs> not. I mean, I feel like even in the 80s, it should have had PG-13 on it, you know? <laughs> like Probably. <laughs> is it just, like, death and sex and... <laughs> the fuck word. The fuck word. Do you have anything else to say about Beetlejuice? Um, I love Adam and Barbara. They're great. They're great. They're like a great couple. They're just like a great movie couple. I like them a lot. Um, I like, I like every character in this. I could say something about like every single character that I'm just like, this is beautiful. This is a great thing that we have come together to create. Um... We as as humanity, all of humanity has led up to this, I guess. Um, no, I let, uh, also, I was going to say about um, Beetlejuice the cartoon, I call him the Beetlejuice with a capacity for love. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Beetlejuice. We'll see you. We'll, we'll, let's, we'll go see the sequel. We're going to go see the sequel, and then we'll come back, and we'll tell you how that was. So the, there'll be, like, a little intermission in between. Um, that way um, you can go get some popcorn and pee, and it'll be... Can we put, like, a... like a? How long do you think they need? How long of an intermission? We can, You know, we can just have it be five seconds, and then they can pause it, and however long they need the intermission. However long they need to prepare. All right. Now's your time. Go to the bathroom. You have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You better be done. You better be done with your trip to the restroom. I swear to God. Welcome back from the bathroom, everyone. We we watched Beetlejuice times two. Yeah, believe it or not, time has passed. Yes. Uh... An, an hour and 40 some odd minutes. <laughs> um, That's the runtime of this movie. So what should we open up with? Um, well, what'd you think of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? Just broadly. I, I went into this. Absolutely. Hi, Nugget. I went into this. Not expecting to like it as much as I did the first one. I didn't I didn't have too high of expectations for it. And I think that Go Nugget. And I think that saved me from a lot of disappointment. Which is weird to say, because I'm like I thought it was good. Like, don't get me wrong. I thought it was good. But it 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 didn't have no, what I... It's no Beetlejuice. It's no Beetlejuice. But what is? What is? <clears throat> yeah, no. I think that I think that's what I wanted to say. And I feel like that's coming off quite negative. There's a lot I like about it. Like, first of all, uh, no notes on Delia. She's perfect in every way. Literally no notes on how they did De Delia. Um, she is great. Um... Again, just all of the actors killing it in their roles. <laughs> like, damn, if it's one thing Tim Burton knows how to do, it's cast. <laughs> I don't know if he specifically casted this movie. Like, I don't see why he wouldn't. <laughs> um, Beetlejuice is still Beetlejuice. He is, he's still the way that he is in every single way. He's definitely... <clears throat> He's less of a sex pest, but they yeah. also definitely gave him less opportunity to be a sex pest. He's a little less pervy. 
but there's there's still a significant amount of perv there with him. Don't yeah, get me wrong. But they 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 just gave him less opportunity. Yeah. Um. And I uh, he also he does like he's a little cartoonier in this, but I not even like majorly. It all feels like stuff he could have been doing in the first film. Right. Exactly. They just give him more chances to be cartoony. I think more chances to be cartoony, less chances to be pervy. Yeah. Um. I think, I don't know, I, I spent half the movie, like literally the first half of the movie thinking, I don't know how I feel how I feel about this. Because I don't know how they feel about giving, I don't know how I feel about them giving Beetlejuice a backstory. I don't know how I feel about how they handled Adam and Barbara. And I, I, I don't really know how I feel about how they handled Lydia as a character. And like, some of the choices they made for her really make sense. And others, I'm kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. This doesn't really feel like Lydia. But then again, a lot can change, you know, over the years. <laughs> in like 40 years. in forty years, yeah, you know, a lot can change about a person. Um, so you know, that's fair. Um, I, I real, I like I said, no notes on Delia. I really like how they expanded on her relationship with Delia. Um, I like how they handled not getting Charles back. <laughs> um, uh, not wanting Charles not back. Not wanting him back. I, I, uh, everything with Charles, I think, was actually pretty yeah. well handled. Like, I, I yeah. kind of love how, like, tasteless his funeral is. Yeah. And, and like, the way his, his wife is handling it. And She's I, just an absolute freak. I love her. <laughs> yes. I love... <laughs> I, I love that his tombstone is a shark fin after yeah. he got killed by a shark. Like that yeah, just, no. That just seems disrespectful. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> um, and and they sing the, they have like a children's choir singing yeah, the Harry no, Belafonte here's the song thing. from the first one. Here's the thing, they put that in the trailer and I thought they just put that in the trailer to be like ominous. But then it's actually in the movie and I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, we're doing this. Um, that is also another thing. I'm like, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, I, go I, off, children's this, choir, I guess. <laughs> I, I think they handled him way better than they handled Adam and Barb. Like, they give yeah. Adam and Barb, like, one line, and it's just like, they're gone. Here's, yeah, here's the thing. I wish, I, I, I know that they, they talk about, like, the model town for a little bit, but I wish that, like... Adam and Barbara to Lydia were essentially, like, second parents. They, like, raised her, essentially. I wish that they had given her more time to, like, talk about them a little bit. Like, with her daughter and everything. I think that that would have made for a beautiful scene for her to, like, get into it a little bit emotionally about them, you know? Yeah. I, like, I also think you could have just gotten the actors back. Yeah. Like I, I don't know how I don't know what they do in this movie necessarily, but I don't know. You could just get them back. Yeah, I mean, but also they they would look a lot older, wouldn't they? I suppose. I suppose that is the problem. Yeah, like, that they're wouldn't... supposed to look the same age. And yeah, they they, they would have clearly aged forty years. Beetlejuice, you can get away with. I said this yeah. last time, but like he be, looks, he doesn't look any different. He's yeah, he's like always <laughs> been a disgusting old man. Yeah, so they just need less makeup to look at make also, him look old now. Yeah, Michael Ke Keaton killing it as always, just doing what he does. Um, I love him. Um, <laughs> I liked Willem Dafoe. Yeah, no, I wasn't, he's... Ex I wasn't expecting I... Willem Dafoe to show up in this. I wasn't expecting him to show up, and I wasn't expecting to like his character so much. <laughs> he's so silly. I love him. <laughs> He he does barely do anything until like near the end, but yeah, <laughs> he's, no. he's a funny character throughout. This movie gets a lot more. I think it just gets a lot more like wacky with it than the original. Like the the original movie feels a lot more condensed. Essentially, yeah, I mean, like I, they go a lot bigger with this one. I, I, I think I think the first one's a lot tighter. Yeah. I think it's a lot more, you know, razor sharp. Mm -hmm. Where this one it like none there's nothing I would necessarily cut from this film, but it definitely has there, there's definitely a lot more going on. There's a lot of plates in the air and I don't know that everything really resolves mm -hmm. that well cuz they've got Beetlejuice's ex-wife and I 
I like her as a character, but, like... I don't know what she adds to this film. Yeah, see, I, I was saying, like, I, 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 I like her. I think she's cool. I think she's very hot. Um, <laughs> I, I don't mind looking at her. <laughs> uh, really knows how to pick him. That guy does. Um, but, like... That guy. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I, if, it, if it were up to me, if I were making this movie... I think I would have spent a lot more time with Beetlejuice and Lydia together, like exploring the the underworld or the or the netherworld and all that stuff, and like you know getting into afterlife shenanigans and just yeah, like I'm... use that all to replace the ex wife stuff. Because at the same time, it's like also like again, I I don't know how I feel about them giving Beetlejuice a backstory. Like I think. Part of what made him interesting was the kind of air of mystery he had about him, you know? Like, who is this guy, you know? Yeah. No, I don't... I don't. Like, I don't think they did a bad job with his backstory. No, not at all. It is just kind of like, do we need this? Yeah, it was it was presented really well. Like, um, I I really like the scene of him going into his backstory. I think it's funny as hell. It's kind of funny to do, like, a Bergman parody. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, at, yeah, at the same time, I think his character and, is better as a mystery, you know. Yeah, and and like adding on to this, there's like the boy Ginny Ortega gets into, and I'm kind of like, what? Why is this here? Where are we going with this? And then of course he turns out to be like an evil ghost who wants to take her life and never and, trust a cute boy. You just met come back. And never so trust that, when a cute that, boy you when just that met. happens, it's like, okay, I, I get him now, but also it's like kind of a while into the film before we meet him. And it's like, you sh- like, maybe we should have cut the ex wife stuff and like get this out sooner mm-hmm. and get her to the afterlife sooner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think all of that stuff is really fun, but I don't think it adds much to the story, you know? Yeah. Like, it just, it feels like, it feels like filling. It feels like empty calories, yeah. you know? Um, uh, I I also feel like they dealt with that kid, like, way too easily. Yeah, no, it, <laughs> there should have been more, more conflict with him. Um... I do think it's funny the way Beetlejuice gets rid of him. Like, it's, this movie's funny. This yeah. is a funny movie. I, they did not lose any of the comedy. I, I also think, like, the first movie's pretty ambiguous about what lies beyond what we see in the afterlife. Yeah, And yeah. this movie, there's, like, more specifically a heaven and hell. yeah. Beetlejuice has the power to send people to hell. Let's just let's just all think about that for a second. Juice demon. <laughs> juice demon. <laughs> um, he does say the I, juice is loose, which I appreciated because I've been saying that for a while now. Like when I watch the movie with people, I'll just be like, the juice is loose. <laughs> um, I I do really like uh. Uh, uh, Lydia's shitty boyfriend. Oh yeah, he's hilarious. He's so terrible. Yeah, he's, he's awful. Such a piece of shit. He's awful, and like he has some of the best lines. Like, <laughs> I'm just laughing at everything he does. Like, I mean, he's there to laugh at. He's there yes, to point no. and laugh at. Like, you are not supposed to take this character seriously no, at all. <laughs> he is supposed to be a piece of shit who bad things happen to, and bad things do in fact happen to him. It's great. <laughs> Um, um, I think Lydia's daughter, which I, Astrid, Astrid, um, she takes on more of a role that Lydia has in the musical. Like, I can't not bring up the musical and like, it, cause like in the musical, they do change things about the story. And one of the things they change about the story is that at some point Lydia goes to the afterlife to try and find her mom. And, uh, in this one, you know, her daughter goes to the afterlife to try and find her dad. And I do think they should have spent more time on the dad. Like, I do think he should have like said more. I think he should have had more 
little more lines, a little more screen time, a little more explanation as to why he couldn't visit them. Like, I get it. He was, he was kind of trapped being, like, one of the servants, one of the job people in, you know, the yeah. afterlife. And I get that. Um, but I think he, he should have talked about that more. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I get, that's one of those things that, like, probably needed more time to develop like it is something like here's the thing there there is like a point where i could see it be like spoon feeding the audience a little bit like you could interpret it that way if he goes into like this exp exposition of like how he died and all that stuff and like but like we as an audience know that. We know why, you know, he couldn't visit them. They couldn't see him. Yeah. But they don't. They don't yeah. understand that. They don't have that context. So it would make more sense if he spent time explaining it with them. Yeah. I really need to angle the camera just over, like, slightly. Should I just scoot more in frame? I mean, it's not just you. It's the background, too. Oh. Scoot over uh, a we could all scooch. Um, yeah, let's all be scooching. Yeah, but now nah, you know we're kind of off of the background. Well, you know what? We're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, I better crack my back there. Go on. <laughs> I think I the MacArthur Park bit goes on too long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, we get it. It's it's very funny. It's like in the first movie when they all sing, uh, what was the one they sing together? Um, uh, the, the daylight. Come daylight and come, we want to go, go home. I I can't remember. My light, why did my light just go out? <laughs> I don't know. It's the ghost. I I don't That's know. I don't know. I don't think we need it. We're well lit. We're, we're, we're good. We're lit enough. We're well lit. We're lit. Um, yeah. No, I mean, I do think that like, yeah, it, they they could have cut it a little bit shorter, but I don't, yeah. I don't know. It's I, it's cool to look at. It's yeah. it's fun visually. I, yeah, I, and I appreciate. I mean, they they do a lot of stuff practically. Like mm -hmm. props to them for how much practical stuff is in this. Well, I mean, it's true to even, the first movie in that way now, yeah, isn't it? Yes, and I I mean even like the the sandworm clearly is like cg in this one but mm -hmm. they've at least gone out of their way to make it kind of animate like uh the stop motion one yeah from the first film yeah so even like what cg is in this film kind of works mm -hmm. i do think it's weird like the amount of like fake posters that circulated for this movie <laughs> for for years, years years <laughs> like before it was ever actually a thing yeah, that's before like, it was ever even like announced officially like when they officially announced this i'm like wait actually yeah yeah like, for real? no i thought somebody was trying to prank me and i'm like oh they've been talking about that for years and it's always been fake and there's always somebody saying that johnny depp is gonna be in it he wasn't in it um like i'm like what, what are you talking about like <laughs> No, that was a that was a shock to me. Um but yeah. Yeah, no, it didn't it didn't quite have the same feel as the first movie. No. But it was but very I, much its own thing. Yeah, I appreciate you know? that it had the confidence in itself to just be its own thing. It doesn't need to constantly fall back on the first film. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need to, to just just repeat what the first film was doing or constantly reference it constantly do fan service there's references to the first film but they're all like in order with the film they all yeah they all make naturally. sense they all make sense and they all yeah. help move the plot forward yeah so I, and, and i i feel like i've seen a lot of like franchise reboot films like this that are just like <laughs> so scared to be their own thing like they're, mm -hmm. they're like anytime they step out of line just a little bit they're like looking over their shoulder for approval like mm -hmm. oh is, is it okay that we're doing things a little different with this one and then beetlejuice beetlejuice has the confidence to just be what it is yeah no it's 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 its own thing and i like it well enough 
I just don't know if it's it's not it's not the five stars way up that the no. the first movie is, and that's a little disappointing. But I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Yeah, yeah. I I would kind of like to sit with this one. I'm I'm interested mm-hmm. to see what I'm gonna say about it. Like when when my year end review comes around. Yeah. Because sometimes I'll I'll sit with a film and I'll like it more or less. Yeah. Sometimes. Like see what see what really sticks with me about this film. Yeah, because I I am with you. I'm kind of like for most of like the start of the movie, I'm like this isn't bad, but like do I like this? Yeah, I'm like what is I I think it's more just like confusion. Like what are the choices you are making here? You know these these are certainly some choices. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I. It's it's probably the best thing Tim Burton has made in a long time. Yeah. I'll say that much. It's entertaining enough. It's funny enough. Like I said, it hasn't lost any of the humor. So if you're really into, like, the humor of Beetlejuice, I think you'll still like this yeah. movie. I, I hope this gets some, like, makeup or production design or something when Oscar season rolls around. Mm-hmm. Like, this could win some technical awards. Or at least I, be up for some technical awards. Is there, like, a special effects there is, award? Yeah, there is special effects. I think it should get special effects. I, I 100% believe that. Yeah, it could be up for, like, special effects, makeup, mm-hmm. production design. Yeah. All that it's all jazz. really nice to look at. Yes. It's no, all it's, really it, it, it nice to look at. It is a really good looking film. Yeah. And Danny DeVito's there. <laughs> yeah, Danny DeVito so has a cameo. If if for nothing else, go look at Danny DeVito be in there. Watch him. He, he's he's been in quite a few Tim Burton movies over the years. Yeah. I mean, who he doesn't? He was the penguin. I mean, like I said, like he sure knows how to cast that Tim Burton. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, he knows that Danny DeVito elevates any <laughs> movie he's in. <laughs> I mean, Danny DeVito is kind of a perfect actor to just throw in for you a can cameo. Li- you can just put him in anything. He is, he is just in, like, one really short scene. Yeah. But it's like, ah, Danny DeVito. Yeah, you're like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> there, there was some, like, audience reaction to that. Mm-hmm. People, people were like, ah, oh, Danny DeVito. Yeah, we love this guy. <laughs> We were sitting, like, right next to a mom and, like, her little kid, too. So I'm, like, glad to know we're continuing the tradition of letting kids who are way too young to watch Beetlejuice watch Beetlejuice. They censored the fuck word. Yeah, that's they disappointing. They censored the fuck word. That is, that is a This is a PG-13 film. They could have said They're the allowed to say it in the PG-13 film. That I, this is PG and he fucking said it in that. I am fully expecting them to release an uncensored version and and like when they say uncensored, it literally just means Beetlejuice is allowed to say the fuck word. Yeah. Because look at this guy. He, if anyone should be allowed look to at say this fuck, guy. it's Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice says fuck. Okay. Yeah. Nice fucking model. <laughs> um. What else about this film? I feel like I had something I was gonna say. Oh, I like the Mario Bava reference. Hmm. They talk about Mario Bava and Kill Baby Kill. Yes. It's funny that she goes into labor during Kill Baby Kill because that's about a killer child. Huh. <laughs> that's fun. I haven't seen it. Oh, I also, I also, I also, I absolutely saw the bit with like, uh, Baby Beetlejuice at the very end. Yeah. I saw that one coming. You from saw it coming. Away. Yeah. I mean. And then it's just a dream I sequence, I love but... that creepy. I, I am expecting when <laughs> when the the merch comes out of little baby. You know those creepy little babies they always yes. have at Spirit Halloween. Yes. They don't have a Beetlejuice one in stock by next year. It is. I. It does just look exactly like the Spirit yes, Halloween it does. creepy baby. It does. I I'm getting one, <laughs> and if they don't have one, I'm going to hold somebody. At the Spencer's company, because that's who owns Spirit Halloween, whatever Spencer's, yeah. Um, I'm going to hold a gun to the CEO of Spencer's head and be like, make me one right now. You specifically. Paint just, and all. <laughs> no, just, buy, just buy the creepy baby and the baby Beetlejuice costume. Oh, yeah, costume. yeah. No, you know what? That tracks. We can do that. And be like, our son. 
I feel like doing, like, the baby version of a character has kind of become, like, a trend recently, but, I, I mean, in Beetlejuice... It's not recent. Case, it's not recent. I mean... baby okay, vacation has back. been around. It's come back recently yeah. because of Baby Yoda. Yeah. After Baby Yoda, we started getting a bunch of, like, ooh, baby popular character. And mm -hmm. I, I do think it's kind of funny that Baby Beetlejuice is so disgusting. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no I mean, attempts what else to was make he gonna, him cute or marketable. What else was he gonna be? <laughs> like, he wasn't... Like, he could have been a marketable plush. He could have been a marketable plushie. I was literally holding him like this most of the time. I was just holding him. <laughs> just like, you're gonna watch the movie. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, anything else to say about Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? I, I... I, I know I'm going to think of something while I'm, like, lying awake in bed, and I'll just be like, damn it, I should have said that. I should have said that. Or there'll be something that, like, I said in, the, the like, the last video that I'm like, damn, I should have said that. I should have said that. And then, you know, that's, that's how it's, it's just how it's going to be. Yeah. I, I just have to accept that. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It was Beetlejuice. okay. It was it was all right. Light seven. Light seven. Light seven. Oh, yeah, I don't care. Like I I would give it a seven point five. Mm. I tend to like things more than you do, though. You do, unless it's like. Unless it's planes. <laughs> Unless it's well, Disney's okay. planes. <laughs> I, you probably liked that about as much as I did. Um. <laughs> I was gonna say, unless it's, like, really difficult to watch, and, like, everyone is mean and angry. Yeah, no, I don't... I don't like movies where everybody is a miserable person. <laughs> like, like I, you tried to show me... What was it? It was, like, Dazed and Confused, and oh, I was like, yeah. I literally hate everyone in this movie. Like, nobody is... I I but can't high enjoy schoolers. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's just like It's like a very genuine representation of high school in that everyone fucking sucks. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> I don't want to be there. True, fair. <laughs> All right. Let's let's get a pose for the thumbnail. Lean in. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs>